Uh, my name is Mike Post. I own Dino 2 uh, We tested a, what year truck is it? 92. 92 S10 today. We ran it uh, right off the highway after about five minutes of control of cruising speed and it made 130 horsepower. And then after one hour and about 70, 75 miles of running the Dino Loop product, it picked up an average of five horsepower from start to finish. With no, no tampering, I didn't do anything. I made sure the water temp was the same. Um, and that's pretty impressive. One hour, five, five horsepower. Can't wait to see what it does in a few hundred miles. We got a 92 Chevy S10 with a 4.3 liter V6. It's about 15 miles per gallon city and about 20 on the highway. Within two pound, full pounds of torque, I mean, mostly it's because it's so gradually. Okay. And I mean, most dinos, most dinos are perfect straight. I don't know both these S10s you got. Okay, I've already added the uh, contents to the engine oil. We'll get the rest of it in there. This is a, a lot stronger than we normally use. It's pure concentrate. The exact formula that we used for the supposed certified EPA testing that we paid for but didn't get. We're adding the concentrate to the trans now. I've already added it to the fuel. And then the last thing we need to do is add it to the differential. Then run it for a little bit. Maybe do another pull and then run it for an hour to warm up or to work itself in and to do the same, um, approximately the same mileage that we broke it in for, worked it in for, Don't uh, for, the te for the certified, the supposed certified test that we paid for but didn't get. Okay. Well, the loops in we're going to be running it at about 60 miles an hour for about an hour
count the six. See this bump? Uh huh. That's just a reading. So it says six horse, but it's six six foot pounds of torque. But that's because it's reading this bump. Mono y mono. Seven. I'd so say, what it I'd means say, is, I'd say unarguably, they probably picked up five average foot pounds of torque, and peak to peak, it picked up about three horsepower. Can we get a couple more pulls in? What do you want to do? up a little. Horsepower went up one more. See, it's hard to tell because what the dyno is going to do is going to take these peaks and soften them. Well, it's just going to take the highest reading. That's what it's oh. programmed to do. So if you've got a peak, like right here, that's a little above. Yeah, see what I'm saying? So it, it read that peak right there and said that was your absolute. You know what I mean? Okay, well, like on the, the first dyno uh, pulls that we had done, I treated the engine, the gearbox, the chain, I mean, it was on a bike, and everything we did, it kept getting better, better, and better. So, I mean, at the, at the highest RPM, we gained 20%. I don't know, solid 20%. Mid-range here, where they were sampling, was 15% gain. So the more it works in, the more we get. Well, what I would do is I would have them drive the damn thing around for a week and bring it back and do another pull. You know, as long as, as long as you can document that you didn't tamper with the truck in any way. You know what, what are you going to tamper with? Well, I mean, there's, trust me, I know what I know. I mean, I, well, I, I mean, can put in a K and air filter and pick well, up five quarters. Right. I can, I can, you know, I can take the distributor and go. All the time and you pick up a couple horse. I mean, you know, I'm a drag yeah. racer. I got. Well, we're not interested in no, tweaking. No, you know. I understand. You're, you're trying to document something as best you can. So, drive for a few weeks. I mean, bring all it back. this thing is doing, it's, it takes away friction. Right. Well, I mean, I can't argue. I mean, it picked up five horse doing nothing. You know what I mean? Right. So, I mean, I'm saying that we're just putting in the, the stuff. Yeah, I mean, all basically, uh, the more you drive it, the more the improvements you get. But here they are improvements. Showed up. 
so it's up exactly five hours. I mean, you can't deny it's up through the whole run after just an hour of running the product. So I'd like to see it a couple hundred miles later. That sounds good. Alright, the differential, it's hard to see it's so dark, but it's at about 100 degrees. Uh, just got back. Uh, my name is Mike Post, I own Dino 2 MP. Uh, we tested a, what year truck is it? 92. 92 S10 today. We ran it uh, right off the highway after about 5 minutes of control of cruising speed and it made 130 horsepower and then after one hour and about 70 75 miles of running the dino loop product it picked up an average of five horsepower from start to finish with no no tampering i didn't do anything i made sure the water temp was the same um, and that's pretty impressive one hour five five horsepower can't wait to see what it does in a few hundred miles